So all you need for this exercise, again, is a piece of paper and a pencil. But I want to talk about the pencil that you use. I'm using a 6B pencil, which is a really soft pencil. And I'd really like you to try and find something really soft to draw with. Because if you use a HB, a hard pencil, what you get is a very faint, hard line, which is very difficult to make. So you end up pressing and controlling your drawing very tightly, rather than the line becoming very fluid. And that's what we're trying to do. I'm trying to take away the constraints of your own drawing and make your lines a bit looser and softer. So please, if you can, use a soft pencil or a big fat pencil if you've got one or even a crayon or something that gives you a soft mark. So I thought for this one, what we're gonna do is apply this exercise to try and do a portrait of ourselves because we happen to have our own faces. And as you can see, I've put my makeup on beautifully for today. And I'm going to basically, the idea of this exercise is that you draw without taking your pencil off the paper. You are not allowed to remove your pencil from the paper. So you can look at the paper, you can look at yourself, and I'd like you to be looking in the mirror at yourself far more than you are looking at what you're drawing, but you mustn't remove your pencil from the paper. So I'm going to start working on my eye, going down into the nice baggy bit, lots of character, and then the bottom of the lid. So you will see how much I'm actually looking at myself rather than what I'm drawing. And the point of that is that, as I think I've said before, we have a tendency, notice my pencil has not come off the paper yet, we have a tendency to think we know what something looks like. And unless we really carefully observe it, we will just be making up what is in front of us and drawing what we think is there rather than trying to draw what we can see. And it doesn't matter if what we end up drawing doesn't look exactly like what's in front of us because we might as well take a photograph if that's what we want. So obviously I could spend a lot longer doing this, but I'm just trying to give you an example. And as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that it doesn't look exactly like me. That isn't the point of drawing. The point of drawing is to understand the thing that we're looking at and to try to make our own sense of it and to give our own interpretation of it, because otherwise we might as well just take a camera. So I would love to see your drawings and you can take a picture of them and share them on my Facebook page which is at Stoneware Birds. And if you put them on there, we can all see them and we can all comment on them and look at each other's and that would be lovely. And this field of birds have swept themselves up into the air And danced like eagles in the screen